All right, guys, so my wife and I are doing a bike ride. We are climbing, currently climbing our way up the Vallecito Dam. We're gonna ride across the dam and then go up to the gravel road up that and then we're gonna there's a nice little uh, biking slash hiking path near the lake all right guys for the rest of this video I'm going to voice over because it was extremely windy that day and especially up here on the Vallecito Reservoir Dam <clears throat> so like I said this is a almost eight month review uh, of this bike which is a 2019 Kona Kahuna hardtail. Um, so yeah, I bought it um, early January this year. It was a leftover 2019 model. Um, so I've had it since it was new. Um, and I'm just going to basically go over um, what I feel about how you know what I feel about the bike overall. Is it still a good value? Do I think um, how it's held up? and then some of the changes I've made. All right, so let me do a quick rundown of what the bike is. So like I said, it's a 2019 Kona Kahuna. It's a hardtail. It's got 29 inch wheels. Um, it's got the Shimano uh, disc brakes, a SRAM NX 1x11 drivetrain, a SRAM NX crank. Um, and that's basically it, really. Oh, and it's got a 100 millimeter RockShox Recon RL uh, front fork. All right, so the first thing I replaced on the bike was the handle grips. I took the original Kona grips off. They didn't have a lot of padding. Um, and I installed the Aragon, I forget the brand or the model grips, but they're the wide grips. Um... And then I put, uh, I took the, well, originally the bike came with um, the WTB uh, Trail Boss tires. Um, I did not like those tires at all. They didn't have good grip, especially in cornering. So I got rid of those, and I installed a Maxxis uh, Minion DHF on the front. It's a 2.5, and I installed a... Maxxis high roller um, on the rear, which is a 2.3, definitely improved the uh, the grip. After that, I replaced the pedals. Um, originally, I bought Fuker pedals off of Amazon. They're like a knockoff of Rock Brothers or Crank Brothers, I think, one of those. Um, they're pretty good. Uh, actually, they're on my wife's bike now. But I got rid of the, or took those off, like I said, they're on my wife's bike. And now I put on entry-level Shimano clip-in pedals, um, which are working really well. Um, I need to do some adjustments on them. I've been having some issues with my right foot popping out of the uh, pedal, but I think it's just an adjustment thing. So that's definitely helped improve my ride, I feel. I'm still trying to get used to them, um, but I feel more confident uh, climbing and popping over stuff. Next, I replaced the handlebars and stem. The handlebars are Ace Kit Jessica. Um, oh gosh, I forget what millimeter, how wide they are. Uh, I'll try to put that in the video. Um, and they have about the same rise as what the original um, Kona bars were. the The big difference on the on these is the the Kona bars swept back, and I just didn't like the feel of it. These are straight. Um, a lot, well, not exactly straight, but more straight than the uh, Kona bars were. And then the stem, the original Kona stem was a 65 millimeter stem. And I installed a fun brand um, 45 millimeter stem, which uh, shortened up the, uh, the reach a little bit. Uh, makes me sit a little more upright, which I prefer. The, the one thing that I've noticed, though, by doing that, and it's actually pretty drastic, is on climbs, the front wheel wants to pop up a little more now um, when you're really cranking on it. But otherwise, it's a lot more comfortable. Ooh, I almost forgot. 
I installed Tannis Armor in my tires. It's working out really well. All right, so that's about it for the upgrades. Um, let's get into what I think about the bike overall um, as far as how it's held up and value. So the bike, like I said, I bought it. It was a leftover 2019 model, so I obviously I paid less for it than I would have if it was a brand new 2020 model. Um, I paid, I think out the door, it was $9.65 and change. Um, originally, you know, it would have been 12 and change, uh, 1200 and change if I had bought it brand new in 2019. Um, the 2020 models, I believe, are closer to 1300 They've made a few changes, I think, uh, but I'm not really sure. You could check that out on, on your own. As far as value goes, I think it's still a good bike for the value. Um, even if you bought one new in 2020 for, you know, close to $1,300, you are getting a lot of bike for the money. Um, the 1x11 uh, SRAM NX drivetrain is spot on. Um, I think it's perfect. I wouldn't change that. Um, the overall feel of the bike, it feels really well, really well made. Um, the seat is comfortable. Um, you know, as far as the geometry on the bike, it's probably not the most modern geometry, but it's a good all around uh, bike, I think, uh, f especially for the money. Um, the RockShox Recon RL 100 millimeter travel forks, I think I would like to, if it had 120 millimeter, I think I'd feel better. Um, but they, they suit me fine. I mean, I rode a trail today, actually, which will be coming up um, in another video, where I definitely bottomed them out. Um, but I've probably only bottomed them out maybe three times in the time that I've owned the bike. But overall, the bike rides really nice. It doesn't, doesn't corner the greatest. Maybe that's due to the 29-inch wheels. But the bike itself rides really nice. Um, it feels fairly compliant considering it's an aluminum frame. The bike is very fast. Um, it's easy to get up to speed. It picks up speed well downhill. Um, it handles the chunk pretty well, I think I feel. Um, yeah, I think the bike overall is a, is a good value for, for the money. The only thing I wish it would have had is a through axle rear it's got a quick release axle which is fine for me but i think as far as making it more modern um, and upgradable the through axle would have been good on this bike i think the hanzo maybe is the next bike up um, then you'll get the uh, through axle on that and as far as repairs uh, i bent the derailleur hanger once had to have that repaired and I bent the rear wheel twice. Uh, not real bad, but enough that it was warped a little bit. So with all that said, I need to wrap this up because I'm going long. Um, I think it's a good value. Uh, it's a good start bike. Um, you know, if you can hold out, save a little bit more and go above it, uh, I would definitely recommend that. But if this is what you could afford, it's a great bike. It's a great frame. I plan on keeping it and riding it hard for a long time. Obviously, this is just my opinion uh, on this particular bike. There's plenty of other bikes out there. There may even be uh, better value bikes out there. So just do your research. But if you're looking at a Kona uh, hardtail, I think the Kahuna is a good one to start with for sure. Um, so yeah, if, if you can, if that's all you can afford, or if you can hold out for the Hanzo, I think it be a better bike overall um, but like I said do your research on it uh, I think the Hanzo has better geometry more modern geometry I won't say better I think this is a good middle of the road bike as far as geometry goes all right guys well that, I guess that's about it uh, really appreciate you guys watching my videos I hope this was helpful if you have any questions leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them and uh, as always thank you for watching like subscribe and see you on the next video